Welcome back, Griffins fans. After a 157-day summer, the longest since 2012, season 23, the home portion of it anyway, begins tonight as the Griffins welcome the Hershey Bears. Hi, everybody. Bob Kayser outside Van Andel Arena as we get you ready with our game day preview brought to you by Michigan First Credit Union. Well, the Griffins come off back-to-back -back losses down in Texas this past weekend, and that began the 2018-19 campaign. Not to make excuses, but allow me to do it anyway. It was a real quick turnaround for Ben Simon and company as they assembled a team of players assigned by Detroit on the final weekend of September. They had two days of practice left last Wednesday to head to Austin and then lost the games 3-1 to to the Texas Stars Friday night. The following night, a 4 nothing setback against the San Antonio Rampage. Well, all things considered, I mean, we, we did some good things, but I think consistency and uh, structure to our game were, were limited at times, I think, that can be attributed for not being together for, for a long time and having a lot of practices. Now, that being said, we talked about this week because we had a whole week to practice of uh, no more excuses. So, though, you know, those two games are done. You know, chalk those up as Blarney holes or uh, exhibition games, even though they counted. And uh, you know, now we're in our own building and we're ready to go. Well, slow starts have not been uncommon around here lately. Cumulatively, the Griffins have the third best record in the American Hockey League over the past six seasons and winning a couple of Calder Cups along the way. However, in four of the last six years, the Griffins through their first 10 games have been at or below the 500 mark. It's hard to put your finger on it exactly, you know, is it kind of a, a little lull coming out of training camp? Is it urgency? Is it uh, the points aren't, the points will be there at the end? And I think every team realizes that when you do get down the end, these points are terrifically important come April. You know, when you're, you're, you're literally getting into the playoffs, teams are getting in and out of the playoffs by a point. Well, as for the opener tonight, you'll see a lot of newcomers in the Griffins lineup. In fact, 11 of the 20 players dressed this evening will be wearing a Griffin uniform for the first time in front of the sellout crowd, including Carter Camper. Yeah, I'm super excited. Uh, as, a, as a road team coming in here, you know, this is one of the special, special rinks you can play in. There's always a great atmosphere and great support here. And I always said it would be a fun place to play, so I'm uh, real thankful that I'm here and I'm excited to uh, be able to experience it on the home side and hopefully we can get off to a good start. While so much turnover lately, the Griffins will have only five players in their lineup tonight that were part of the 2017 Calder Cup champions. Tonight, the Griffins and the Hershey Bears, first of two meetings, the only trip into West Michigan for the oldest franchise in the American Hockey League. The Bears enter their 81st year as members of the 83-year-old AHL. Griffins will be heading to Chicago after the game tonight, meet the Wolves tomorrow night. You'll hear the broadcast at 735 on Wood Radio. Next home game will be on Wednesday when the Griffins tangle with the Texas Stars. And by the way, the Griffins have had a pretty good record against the Hershey Bears. They are a lifetime 7-1 and one against them. Enjoy the game tonight, everybody. Bob Kayser here outside Van Amber Arena, ready to go inside and warm up. It is hockey weather. So good to be back. Great to have you along with us tonight. Enjoy the game, everyone. That's been our game day preview brought to you by Michigan First Credit Union.